Hey everyone, welcome to Mike and Lil's channel. I'm Lil, this is Mike, and welcome to the South Waikato. And welcome to our South Waikato food tour as we go on a little cafe hunt all around the South Waikato to try all the different delicious foods in the different cafes in South Waikato. So come with us as we go and enjoy the ride, as we go and indulge in our taste buds. Hey everyone, we're at our first cafe location in the South Waikato and the first location we're at is the Bull Ring Cafe on State Highway 1 in Atea Muri. And I know a lot of people, especially those who travel up and down New Zealand, have driven past this cafe many times. I know I have. So this is the first time I've actually stopped by. Um, it is brunch time for us. We haven't eaten anything, so we thought let's stop by the Bull Ring Cafe and have some breakfast. So today Mikey's got the big breakfast which is consists of all these delicious things in his plate and I just got poached eggs on toast. Um, yeah I can pick out of his if I feel like something else. Poached eggs on toast. I love poached eggs on toast. So let's go in for gold. This that egg is nice and a perfect cook. Perfect perfect cook. I love poached eggs. Mm. Yeah, that is good. The consistency of this egg that's cooked is perfect. The taste is perfect, the toast is perfect, everything is perfect. Thank you, Bull. Thank you, Bull Ring. Sorry, I've been calling it Bull Run. Mike just came in and told me it's called Bull Ring. I'm bad with names. Sorry, guys, but that is my poached eggs. It's delicious. If you're ever looking for a nice poached egg breakfast and you're near the Atia Muri area, be sure to stop off at the Bull Ring Cafe. I'm going to drive past it. The main road just outside here and I'm literally just looking at it as the one road that comes from the top of the North Island all the way down to the bottom of the North Island. Look at these. Look at that. Did you see that? We're on a main road. As you can see my big breakfast has arrived and I have scrambled eggs on toast, hash brown sausage, tomato and bacon. Man, all my favorite. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give these eggs a try. I love, I love my scrambled eggs. I'm not a poached egg person like Bill is, so that's why I got scrambled. So I'm gonna give this a try. Mm. That was really nice. Just like I like it. Nice and creamy. Cooked to perfection. Thank you to the Bull Ring Cafe. You got my eggs on point this morning. <clears throat> and this this place is like Lil said on the main highway. And we've always come by but never stopped, but we decided to stop today. And just just the view from where we're sitting, oh man, it's just breathtaking. Good food, good view. Oh man, you can't beat it. Some tomato into my eggs. Maybe some of that toast that's underneath. Oh, Try to cut me a piece of bacon. Oh, mm. Mm. That tomato is oh, pretty nice too. Mm. Mm. And a little hash browns on the side. Mm. And because it's the middle of winter or the beginning of winter here in New Zealand, 
can't go without a nice good cup of coffee. So Mike and I are going to finish our breakfast up here, but come with us as we go to our next location. But remember, if you're ever near Atiamuri or on State Highway 1, make sure you stop off at the Bull Ring Cafe and have breakfast. You know, they have lunch menus, burgers, they've got a little dairy sort of store here as well. Um, they even have a bar in a restaurant area. So, you know, if you're ever around this area, make sure you drop in, you won't be disappointed. Welcome to location number two. So on our, as we continue this food tour in the South Waikato, we are now in Mangakino and we're at our cafe spot number two. We're at Atta's Cafe and we're coming here to have some fish and chips. But did you guys see the beautiful scenery on the way in? Wasn't it beautiful? Honestly, the South Waikato is known for its green forest, as you could see on our way here um, and just it has been years since I've personally come into Mangakino I haven't been here since I was a little kid and it just feels really nice being here the feeling is so warm the service in Atta's Cafe is amazing um, yeah so make sure if you're ever coming through the Mangakino area to check it out received our fish and chips it is served deliciously you know when you go into places it's, that serve chips or fries in some places it has that really nice bear batter texture around it well that's what these chips have so let's go in and give it a try mm. that's good mm. <clears throat> the fish is really crumbly crumbed fish it's got a nice crispy coating on the outside Put a bit of the tartilla. This tartilla is actually really tangy. It's got a bit of a vinegary taste to it. And it's really nice. Mmm. I'm gonna have some of this salad. Mmm. My goodness, everything is so good. And you know we just had a big breakfast, but this is good. I may just have to eat it all up. So this is fishing chips at Atta's Cafe in Mangakino. Mmm. So that is location number two. And honestly, we thought, because we, we were full when we came here from our breakfast. But the minute we tasted the fish, the chips, and even the salad together, we couldn't resist. And Mike and I just went for gold, and as you can see, it's all gone. We're really, really, really happy with the service and the food that we got from Atta's Cafe. Um, we definitely give it a 10 out of 10, just like the Ball Ring Cafe as well for the breakfast. But that is it for location number two. Again, if you're ever in Manga Kennel, make sure you stop by the Atta's Cafe or Atta Cafe for fish and chips, you know, they've got an extensive menu. They have sandwiches, cakes, your typical cafe stuff style food. So make sure you stop in by, stop in at Atta Cafe and enjoy the indulgence that they have available. We are now done with location number two. Let's go to location number three.
Hey everyone, welcome to our third location. We are in a place called Fokamaru and we're at the Dam Cafe. Uh, because we've already had breakfast, because we've already had lunch, we've just stopped by for a quick, what you would call it, a quick snack. Uh, we have got a beef panini toasted as well as an apricot slice and a scoglin. Coglin? Scoglin? Scoglin slice. I am coffeeed out. I was going to have a cup of tea, but mate, I had a cup of coffee yesterday around this time and I went to bed at 2am because I couldn't fall asleep because of all that caffeine. Our third location and I'm going to go in and try these slices. So the first one is the apricot slice. Mmm, that's delicious. Mm. Check that out. That is really good. Not too rich. Mmm. It's got a real creamy and delicious taste to it. And just a pinch of apricot flavour and coconut. That is delicious. So that's the apricot slice at the Dan Cafe in Fakamaru. Mmm. Delicious. So our second option slice is the scroggin. Let's go in and try it. Mm. Yum! These taste so homemade. Mm. So we also got the beef panini, toasted panini. So it has some beef, cheese, onion, sorry, beef, cheese and tomato, maybe onion, we'll see. Gotta go in and taste it. Mmm. A lot of flavour. Bit of a crisp around the end and nice and soft in the middle. If you like toasted panini, you're going to enjoy this. So that makes it location number three. We're at the Dan Cafe in Fakamaru. Fakamaru is known for its Dan. So what better name to call your cafe? The Dan Cafe. So now um, we're going to finish this up. Uh, we're really, really full now. So we're going to finish this up and we're going to go on to our next location. We'll check you out. We'll see you there. Hey everyone, we're at location number four and we're at Tucker's in Tito and we've come just in time for dinner. So sit back and enjoy as we indulge on the beautiful meal that they're going to serve us here at Tucker's in Tito. I got a hamburger and chips, but this burger is so delicious. I want to take another bite and I got to show you the juices. Oh gosh. Mm. To show you how juicy, how juicy that is. Man, that is so juicy with that pickle there in the middle and that sauce that they have. Oh man, it's just absolutely beautiful. Now, this burger's got a nice, nice cookly brioche bun. The meat is like a quarter, I think it's a quarter pound of Angus beef. Oh man, mint. And the sauce that they got in there is a chocolate sauce. I don't know the secret to that one, but <laughs> that's a good sauce. And to top it off, my favorite part, the pickle. Every burger got to have a pickle in it. It's not a burger without a pickle. Remember that. So I got the tempura prawns and the beer battered fries. Look how big. Oh, look at that. Divine. And I saw him cooking them fresh too. So you can squeeze it with a bit of lemon. And honestly, this dipping sauce is delicious. It's got a nice tang to it. Mmm. So good. 
Do I have a fry? Mm. So, so good. One more time. <laughs> you can hold them. Mm. <laughs> Beer batch fries. Delicious. So much flavour. The texture is great. I am so glad I picked this meal because it's divine. It's so delicious. Perfectly cooked. The corns are still nice and moist and fatty. But also cooked. Thank you, tacos. So this makes location number four for eateries, cafe style eateries in the South Waikato. And like I said, we're at Taka and Tito. If you ever come through this way, it is literally just on State Highway 1. Make sure you check them out. You will not be disappointed. But we're going to continue finishing and eating off our dinner. And we'll take you guys to our next location. See you then. We're at a cafe called Rumbly Tums in Tokoroa and we've come here to have brunch. It's um, lunch time, right? Yes. Yeah, so it's around lunch. So um, we've come here to grab brunch. Mike and Sharita are getting a breakfast. Yep. And I'm going to grab the macaroni meal. They've got an amazing little macaroni meal. Well, it's not little. Like, I think it's quite big and it's only $7. So um, sit back, enjoy as we enjoy and indulge at the Rumbly Tums in Tokoroa. Everybody, so I've got the macaroni meal with chips. Seven dollars, seven dollars. Can I have a chip with me? So I got the seven dollar macaroni meal with chips. Mm. And that's the macaroni. Mm. Delicious. We got the eggs on toast with a little bit of tomato and bacon on the side. I love my eggs on toast. These eggs are nice and creamy and tomato cooked to perfection. Oh man. Mmm. So yummy. Really yummy. We're gonna finish off our food here and we will and come and join us on our, to our next spot. But if you're ever in Tokoroa, stop by the Rumley Tongue. They are so delicious. Hey everyone, welcome back to our South Waikato food tour and we're at a place called the Wooden Farmer in Patataru. We've come here for dinner, so come and, in, and join us as we indulge even more. Now I got this prawn bacon pasta and it looks so inviting. It's got look like some kind of green stuff on top. I don't know what that is. Now, I'm just going to give this a taste, let you know what I think, because I know this is going to be good, because it's got bacon, prawns, mmm, you can taste the pasta, the pasta, the pesto that's in it, it's got green pesto, a little bit of parmesan cheese on it, and also a little bit of chili, so you can taste all those flavors coming out. Oh man, it is really nice. I want to say a little bit of 
vinegar, maybe, but I don't want to be wrong about that, but this is really good. And oh man, this is nice. Hey everyone, so I got the Thai green lip, green lip mussels and they smell so good. I'm just gonna put a bit of lemon on that. You can really smell the aromas that are coming out of the flavors and the sauce that the mussels are in. It is divine. But let's grab one of these babies. Oh, check that out. There we go. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. So divine. And these mussels are fresh. And the chewiness is perfect. The flavor is perfect. Very, very satisfied. Of course, you can't go anywhere and not get a bowl of fries, but the sauce is honestly delicious. Mmm. And it complements Mike's meal and my meal perfectly. Mmm. Honestly, the servings here are quite big and i i can't eat mine all up as you can see we still got some fries and mike is full too are you mike we were going to order a pizza as well our eyes are too big for our tummies sometimes Hello everyone that is the end of our south by, south by Caddo food tour cafe style eateries we want to thank you guys for coming along with us and enjoying this journey with us. Just remember, if you're ever in these locations that we have mentioned or pretty much showcased on this video, try to check them out, support the small businesses and enjoy the food on the way. If you like this content, make sure you give it a thumbs up and click on the bell notification icon so you can receive notification of all our upcoming videos because there are more coming. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button, support us. We would much appreciate it. And um, continue to share our journey with us. Until the next time we meet, take care and stay blessed. Bye everybody.